Hi there, my name is Derek. This is a quick introduction to water kefir and milk kefir. A lot of people wonder, what is kefir? What, what's the benefit? Why do you do this? Um, and a lot of people pronounce it differently. So you might hear about kefir uh, or kefir, um, but I call it kefir. It doesn't really matter uh, how you pronounce it. Um, and there's basically two types that a lot of people do. Uh, one is water kefir and the other is milk kefir. So in this video, we're just going to be talking to you about the benefits of kefir, um, why people do it, and basically how you do it. And then the other videos that you can find on this channel uh, will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to, how to brew your own kefir. Um, so the first type that we'll talk about is milk kefir or milk kefir. So if you see here, um, and we'll show some, some close-up shots, but this uh, is... Um, about a tablespoon of milk kefir grains. They look kind of like cauliflower. Um, these are active cultures, and when you get started, you can either get these dehydrated or you can get them live, and you can get buy them online. Sometimes you can even get them for free online because there's other people who are uh, brewing milk kefir, and they will give you their grains. And so the grains do multiply over time. As you start uh, making batches of kefir or, ke or kefir, what you'll find is that you, might, you may start with a tablespoon or two tablespoons of these grains, and then pretty soon you've got a couple cups. Um, I have much more than this. Um, and when you have that much, then you can split it and you can give those grains to a friend or a loved one, and then they can start uh, doing it for themselves. They're ancient grains. Uh, people have been doing this for thousands of years. And basically what you do with milk uh, kefir is you just put these grains into about four cups of milk. You can use milk that you buy at the store, 2%, whole milk. I choose whole milk. A lot of people use raw milk, but you can really just buy whatever um, and put these grains in and let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. And what you'll see is you'll see the, the grains, they culture that milk. They make it into um, just a probiotic rich drink. You strain these out, you drink that, and it's, it's wonderful for you, your immune system. A lot of people will eat yogurt for the probiotic benefits of yogurt. This has 60, over 60 strains of probiotics, whereas milk that you buy, i sorry, yogurt that you buy at the store only has about five. So um, the health benefits of milk kefir are um, exponentially higher than that you can buy in, in yogurt. So... Um, that's, that's milk kefir, and I'll just show you uh, what these grains look like and about how much you need to get started. So that's about it. You only need about, about that much, about two tablespoons of milk kefir grains to get started in about four cups of milk, and you can be on your way. Um, and then people just do it over and over again. So you just have you know, your basic supplies, which are glass jars that you need to put this in. Um, usually some cheesecloth and a rubber band. You put that over the top of your wide mouth jar and then you just put it in a pantry or on a shelf somewhere in your house and allow that to culture and allow that to ferment and then you drink it. And those are the, the health benefits. Um, it's, it's quite amazing actually, the benefits to your immune system and to your overall health of drinking milk kefir. Uh, the, and, and there's a couple ways you can do it. A lot of people uh, drink it plain. It's kind of an acquired taste. Um, but you can also flavor it as well, doing what's called a second ferment, where you can add a flavoring, um, and then uh, your flavoring will ferment again, and it will feed, uh, the kefir grains will feed off of the sugar in that flavoring, and it will just become fermented a second time. Uh, very similar, in fact, to what we'll discuss with water kefir. So these are water kefir grains, and um, I'll just show you about how much it takes to get started with water kefir. So... Um, you see these, these grains over here, these milk kefir grains look a little bit like cauliflower, kind of like cottage cheese maybe. Um, they're kind of rubbery, um, gelatinous, and the water kefir grains are similar. They are, whoops, they are equally uh, kind of gelatinous, um, but they're clear and they are different. You can't use water kefir grains to culture milk and you cannot use milk kefir grains to culture sugar water. Um, they're, they're different from one another. This is about what you need to get started, which is about two tablespoons, uh, maybe a little bit more, of water kefir grains. And you can, again, buy these dehydrated or you can buy these uh, live. And these were purchased live uh, many, many months ago, and they continue to just 
uh, multiply and reproduce. And then um, I've given these grains, split them many times, given them to many, many people. Um, on the Kiefer Connection app, you can actually track who you give them to and who you got them from. And it's kind of fun just to see that people that I've given grains to, they've been doing water kefir for months and their kefir has split many times and they've given it to other people and given it to other people. And the benefits, the health benefits just keep on giving. It's just a, a wonderful thing. So what you'll do with this is you'll put this into a batch of sugar water. And I do about a gallon of water in a, in a glass container to about a cup of organic cane sugar. I just put that cane sugar right into the gallon of water um, and I shake it up. I put the lid on, I shake it up until it's all dissolved and then I just put these kefir grains in and the kefir grains will feed off of that sugar in the water and they'll put off a fermented byproduct um, which is released in the form of, of uh, CO2 gas which is you know carbon dioxide. So you look at a bottle of water kefir that's been um, sitting and it's got all this beautiful uh, uh, CO2, all of this, all of this carbonation that's just natural. Um, it's a delicious beverage. Um, that, that first ferment that you do, the water kefir grains are going to feed off of that sugar. They're going to eat that sugar. And they're going to give the fermented byproduct. And then what you'll do is the very same process you do with milk kefir. You strain out the grains, you put them into another fresh batch of sugar water. In this case, you put them into a fresh batch of, of milk. Um, and then they'll continue to feed on that and they'll continue to grow and multiply. And then the water that you strained out that has been sitting with those kefir grains for the last you know, 48 hours or so, um, you'll just add a flavoring. So you can use any sort of juice concentrate. You can use natural fruit, um, whatever you want to do to flavor it really. It just needs some fructose or some glucose, uh, something to, to continue to feed those grains. Um, I, I like to do frozen juice concentrates whether it's you know, uh, grape juice, white grape juice, apple juice, um, cranberry, raspberry, cranberry, blueberry. Uh, there's a bunch of different frozen juices that you can do. Put that in. Um, I, I usually do about three-fourths cup of a frozen juice concentrate to a gallon of activated water kefir. Uh, and then I just um, let, it, let it sit in these bottles for another couple days. And then it becomes carbonated like this. And it's just a delicious beverage um, that really boosts your immune system and helps your overall health. So let me just give you my opinion. Having done uh, both milk kefir and water kefir, one thing that I have seen is that since I've been doing it, and I know you'll doubt this and you'll say, oh, there's no way that's true. I really haven't been sick. So I've been doing this for a long time now, and I was getting sick a lot. I was getting colds. I was getting uh, flus. I was getting stomach bugs. And really, since I've been doing this, I haven't been sick. Now, sometimes I'll feel a little bit of a cold coming on or something, and I'll really, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll drink an entire one of these. You know, usually I'll have maybe a glass or two a day, but I'll drink a whole one of these, maybe more, uh, if I feel a little bit of a cold coming on, get some rest, and it, and it never materializes. So that's the benefit for me. Other people have found that their GI tract is just uh, a lot cleaner, that they're able to they're able to just, um, their food goes through them a lot uh, more efficiently and they're able to be a lot more clean. They just feel like they have a lot less toxins and build up in their body. There's a lot of different reasons to do this. Um, if you're having gut issues or uh, you're having overall health issues, I would encourage you to try it and just see if it works for you. Thank you for watching.